Hi guys, I'm Kerry G and today's little talk is about expectations from society. We all want to survive in this world with the best means we know how. We've been trained from generations before to work hard, make lots of money and we'll be successful in life. For most of us in this first world country, we want to be successful in our lives, comfortable with our finances and happy whilst we achieve these things. But do we really think these things can make us truly happy? We know society expects this from us, but why do we expect to achieve these things? Is it to feel more superior? Is it to make our parents proud? Is it to show ourselves that we can succeed in life? Whatever the reason may be, look deep down inside of yourself to see if it is the ego that is actually pushing you or if it is an egoic objective that you are pushing for. If you can achieve success in this society, then can we really feel more loved from others and ourselves? Some would say that we need to be successful in our society to run better, to prosper for each other, work as a team, and we can achieve greatness in our country. But then where is the balance? Did society forget that we are all individuals who have our own thoughts, our own desires, our own talents, and may be achieving the same goal of progressing our country through hard work doesn't actually work because we are individuals. No one taught us to love ourselves as a one and to embrace all the different abilities each of us have. We were forced into building our society through the ego. Bigger, better and stronger than other countries so in case we're attacked by war we can fight back and win. This sounds like an ego battle to me. Where did it all go wrong with us? It could have possibly been a lack of love and respect that was missing in our past souls' lives. As time goes on and life moves into the next era, our thought processes aren't as old-fashioned. As more souls are being born into our future, we are fixing, uh, they are fixing their karma and starting to change the way our world is run by impacting our thoughts and the world with their love and knowledge from other lives they have lived. These souls have had many lives before, just like you and I, and time and change in our history have impacted on us all. We are discovering that happiness is our ultimate goal, and this can be achieved through love, compassion and gratitude towards ourselves and other souls we meet because we're all one. If or when you come into a materialistic gain such as money, try to remain humble. Try to not let your ego think you're better than the cleaner at work because you drive the newest Mercedes or bought the biggest house in your neighborhood. Having gratitude and being humble in your life are the keys to living a life path of happiness. As we know, every single person on earth has their own soul journey, therefore their own karmic lessons. We are given opportunities to show love and gratitude in every situation that faces us. It's up to us to be aware and recognize these experiences we have to make, uh, we have to make a choice of how we handle these situations. The choices we make impact the next opportunity we face. Remembering to choose the loving option when dealing with others as this will impact your next experience you're faced with. Choose positivity, gain positivity. Choose ego, gain struggles. Karma really does go around and comes back again. Love and light everyone.